Hey there people, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So today I wanted to share with you why I do not eat meat every single day on a carnivore diet. And a lot of you are probably thinking like, what are you talking about? A carnivore diet and the main staple on this diet is normally meat, which yes, that is 100% true. And for me, I also do consume raw honey and raw milk, raw cheese and a few other different animal foods as well that are not meat. And I'm going to explain to you two to three reasons as to why I don't eat meat every single day and what my day of eating looks like when I'm not eating meat. So first off, I never plan to do this what so ever, just some days, this just naturally happens. And what I want to say is, before I started consuming raw milk and I used to eat pretty much just meat on a carnivore diet, I would always eat meat every single day. But once I started sourcing raw dairy, things started to naturally change. So some days I, yeah, do what I normally do, which is drink raw milk with raw honey mixed in it throughout the whole day. And then I'll normally eat meat at the end of the day. But that always doesn't happen where I eat meat at the end of the day. So naturally, sometimes with just my very, very busy schedule and lifestyle and all the other crazy things going on in my life, it just makes it a lot more convenient for me to not eat meat. Yes, it doesn't take a long time to cook some meat in a pan. I can definitely attest to that and agree with people on that because I know a lot of people are going to say, well, meat doesn't take long to cook whatsoever. That is very, very true. But it can be more convenient for me to have raw milk and raw honey because all I do is get a glass jar, pour the milk in, pour the honey in, stir it up, drink it down and then wash out the container that I use with water. So it does actually save me more time than cooking up meat and preparing meat. So that's one reason as to why I don't eat meat every single day on a carnival diet. But then also I just find that raw milk is such a nutrient powerhouse in terms of micro nutrition and also macro nutrition as well because it's very good source of carbohydrates protein and fats and milk has a lot of things in it in abundance such as vitamin k2 and other different compounds that are very hard to get in meats and there's also a lot of compounds that are in raw milk that just don't exist in meat whatsoever. So if you're someone like myself that gets on with raw milk, it is just an amazing addition to a carnivore diet as long as you get on with it because not everyone does. So because it is such a nutrient rich powerhouse, there's just times where I'm just consuming it all throughout the day with raw honey and then I just naturally don't feel any desire for meat whatsoever. So I just listen to my body and what it is wanting me to do. And when I am just consuming raw milk and raw honey throughout the day, I just feel absolutely amazing. It gives me loads of calories, gives me all the proteins, fats and carbs I need, gives me abundance of vitamins and minerals. It's really easy on the digestion. It's a real good fast food that is perfect for a busy lifestyle or where you're on the go. It tastes really amazing. It satiates me really well. And it just makes me function to the best of my ability and makes me feel amazing holistically throughout my day. And I haven't had it yet where I've done this for multiple days in a row. I normally only do it for one day. But a lot of time, just like today, I didn't have meat yesterday with today I feel that I could easily not have meat again but I've just run out of raw milk and my raw milk only gets delivered once a week so I am going to eat meat today in a very short while after this video because I am actually really really hungry right now but yeah I am thinking about just letting my body naturally go for as long as it wants if it wants to go for days in a row rather than cutting it after a day or just after a day period of having just raw milk and raw honey and seeing how it is with 
experimenting with this because I know there is some raw milk groups out there on Facebook that I am a part of. And there is a lot of people that do just raw milk fast and resolve so many different health issues and symptoms. So it can be really, really amazing for people to do this for a period of time. And yeah, obviously doing this is some sort of what some people call a fast, but I would call it a raw milk and raw honey feast. But it just allows my digestion and my body to rest a lot more because it doesn't require as much energy for my body to break down and assimilate and eliminate, unlike with meat. I don't necessarily find that meat weighs me down and makes me heavy, but it definitely uses a lot more energy to do all of what I just mentioned. And just a few things I wanna mention is, I used to be someone that was massively into green juice fasting and making these cold pressed juices. And I found with that, it's just not as good as a raw milk fast, so to speak, with the addition of the raw honey in. I find that the raw milk and the raw honey, my energy level is just, just stable without the day, and it just feels a lot more optimal food source for my body to consume whilst in this fasted or even feasted liquid state. And I would say, if you're someone that gets on with raw milk, and you're on a carnivore diet, maybe try experimenting with what I'm naturally doing because you never know, it might make you feel absolutely amazing. And if you're someone that's got health issues going on that maybe haven't been fully resolved on a carnivore diet, maybe this could be something that help you go in the direction to maybe resolve some of the things that you're still trying to resolve on a carnivore diet. But as I mentioned in videos before, and this is very important, if you're someone that doesn't get on with raw milk, it necessarily doesn't mean that you have an issue with raw milk. A lot of people think they're lactose intolerant, there's a lot of myths around lactose intolerant, most people are just intolerant to pasteurized, poisoned, toxic milk out there that is homogenized, which is just not good for anyone in any way, shape, form. But if you get raw milk, find out what type of casein is naturally occurring in the milk that you're getting from your raw milk supplier because most milk sold out there contains A1 beta casein and not everyone gets on with this. So if you find you try raw milk and it's got the A1 in it, then yeah, if you don't feel good from it, then you may need to get some milk that has A2 beta casein in, which sheeps milk and goat's milk is A2 beta casein, but you also can get specific cows that naturally produce milk that has A2 beta casein, and you may find that you get on better with that. And if you want me to make any other videos talking about raw milk, I also could talk about milk kefir, clabber milk, which is also known as sour milk, that is a fermented milk that you leave out on the counter for a period of time for it to naturally ferment itself, then let me know down below, and I can make some videos on that. So if you like the video, like it down below, leave your comments and questions down below, and don't forget to share and subscribe to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. Make sure if you wanna be notified of when those videos are uploaded, that you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button, otherwise YouTube will not notify you of when those new videos are uploaded, and I have new ones coming almost every single day. So as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.